What's up guys? Welcome back to Rugged Adventures. Hey, we got a special one for you guys today. This is uh, just happens to be the first full auto Friday that we've ever done and, it, and I didn't schedule it that way. It's just the way that uh, things worked out. But uh, today we're going to look at um, full auto submachine guns. I got two here from the Allied side of the war. The old Thompson uh, 1928 a submachine gun in 45 ACP and these are you know these are the real deal this is uh it's got the full auto switch and everything on it I don't really want to show you guys the serial numbers but uh and this is a PPSH uh 41 this is from the Soviet side you know back then we were all on the same side and uh I'm not going to be able to monetize this because YouTube doesn't like full auto content so if you guys don't mind just hit the subscribe button hit the like button to keep this thing going uh check out some of my other videos but uh, we're going to be shooting these today and the, you know the one thing I always say with you guys uh is that we are on a closed uh private range uh so we're not you know at some you know just anywhere or whatever and everything that we're shooting today is licensed registered and uh, i'm here with a uh, class three uh, weapons dealer so everything we're doing is completely legal so uh, you know please don't report me to the youtube moderator people because it's not uh it wouldn't be the way that it is so today like i said thompson a ppsh 41 I think we have uh, uh, MP5 and, and maybe an Uzi, but uh, we're gonna have a lot of fun shooting full auto. So uh, click that subscribe button. Here we go. First up is the uh, the Thompson. This is one of my this is one of my favorite uh, machine guns that was ever made. Uh, you used to be able to pick these up in a hardware store because a lot of them were made before the uh, the uh, NFA Act of uh, the early 30s. I can't remember 32 something like that. And so we got 30 round stick mags. And we will uh, put a couple semi-auto and then we'll flip it to full auto and, you know, give it the business. And flip it over to full. <laughs> it always puts a smile on your face. It's awesome. It's amazing! Hope you guys like that piece of history here. World War, what, two, Korea, I think in Vietnam, piece of American history. Oh, and uh, St. Valentine's Massacre, and pretty much any gangster movie that you've ever seen. All right, guys, next up is the H&K MP5. We have had this on the channel before. I think I have a short about it, but this is this is an awesome gun. It's one of my favorite uh, guns, machine guns. Shoots the typical 9x19, uh, 9mm uh, parabellum. Uh, but the cool thing about this one is it has that magic F down there. It stands for the fun switch, so let's get on with it. Here we go. We'll shoot a couple semi, and then we'll get to the uh, full auto action. Through my auto. Now for full. Just super fun, super controllable. It's one of the most controllable full auto uh, guns I've ever used in my entire life. I love this gun. All right, another mag out of the MP5, and I, I told you guys that we're going to shoot the uh, the PPSH41, but it's just not running real well today. Um, that's the thing that sometimes happens with machine guns. They're, uh, you know, complicated machines and, you know, you feel for the guys that were dropped into Vietnam with the early model M16s that didn't work and had a lot of problems with them. That's what we're having today. So, you know, I know you might be disappointed, but uh, let's get another mag out of the MP5. Just like that. Oh, no, it's not. We must have had a jam. Yep. And like I just said about uh, machine guns, maybe not running uh, you know, perfectly all the time. That's the way it is. We'll clear this out and get right back at it. As another little piece of uh, World War II history here, uh, M1 carbine. 
uh, different than the M1 Grand, smaller cartridge, um, carried a lot of times by paratroopers, people in the back, and uh, guys that were unfortunately assigned to the Pacific. So, here we go. And then full auto. And that's it. Not a whole lot in that, so probably in combat you wouldn't be using full auto too terribly much. Really, this has turned out to be one of my favorite guns uh, today, along with the MP5, just for the historical significance of it. I think that's pretty cool. I was also told off camera that this is an M2 and not a uh, not an M1 carbine, so you know. You guys can leave me that in the comments. Uh, so let's let's do it. Nice, got a hit there on that on that very last one. I shorted you guys in the PPSH-41, and I got a little ahead of myself because I was really excited to come out here and shoot. Um, do not have an Uzi, so as a consolation prize, uh, brought out a real deal uh, Colt M16A1. I'm not sure if you guys can see that or not, if it's going to focus, but it's got the, you know, safe, semi, full auto, and it has a, uh, like an M4 short style uh, barrel, but this is the, uh, the real deal. Um, Colt M16A1 like they might have handed to a kid in Vietnam and dropped them off in a helicopter. So we will let her rip. Couple in semi, see if I can hit anything up the hill. Hit, hit one of them. And then what we're here for. And there you go. It is tempting just to sit there and hold the trigger down because it's so much damn fun. But uh, hitting things occasionally, even when you're in full auto, uh, you know, I like to actually hit the targets as well. Um, so it's super fun. If you guys ever get a chance to shoot something full auto, even if you gotta go to Vegas and pay for it or something, it's, uh, it's well worth the price because man, does it put a smile on your face. Alright guys, that's going to be it for today. Hey, like I said, not going to be monetized since it's full auto on a full auto Friday. So if you guys don't mind, hit the subscribe button down below. Hit the like button. It really helps me out in the YouTube algorithm. I'll leave you with some uh, Tommy gun action. See you next time.